the true prophecies or prognostications of michael nostradamus physician to henry the second francis the second and charles the ninth kings of france and one of the most excellent astronomers that ever were century one the first fifty quatrains this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. 1. Sitting by night in my secret study alone, resting upon the brazen stool, a slight flame breaking forth out of that solitude makes me utter what is not in vain to believe. 2. With rod in hand, set in the middle of the branches, with water I wet the limb and the foot. In fear I writ, quaking in my sleeves, divine splendor the divine sitteth by three when the litter shall be overthrown by a gust of wind and faces shall be covered with cloaks the commonwealth shall be troubled with a new kind of men then white and red shall judge amiss four in the world shall be one monarch who shall be not long alive nor in peace then shall be lost the fishing boat and be governed with worse detriment five they shall be driven away without great fighting those of the country shall be more grieved town and city shall have greater debate carcass narbonne shall have their heart tried six the eye of ravenna shall be forsaken when the wing shall rise at his feet the two Bessia shall have constituted Turin Versile, which the French shall tread upon. 7. One coming too late, the execution shall be done. The wind being contrary, and letters intercepted by the way, the conspirators fourteen of a sect, by the red-haired man the undertaking shall be made. 8 how often taken o solar city shalt thou be changing the barbarian and vain laws thy evil groweth nigh thou shalt be more tributary the great adria shall recover thy veins nine from the east shall come the african heart to vex adria and the heirs of romulus accompanied with the libyan fleet Malites shall tremble and the neighboring islands be empty Ten. sergeants sent into an iron cage where the seven children of the king are the old men and fathers shall come out of hell and before they die shall see the death and cries of their fruit eleven the motion of the sense heart feet and hands shall agree naples leon sicily swords fires waters then to the noble romans dipped killed dead by a weak brain twelve within a little while a false frail brute shall go from low to high being quickly raised by reason that he shall have the government of verona shall be unfaithful and slippery thirteen the banished by choler and intestine hatred shall make against the king a great conspiracy they shall put secret enemies in the mine and the old his own against them sedition fourteen from slavish people songs tunes and requests being kept prisoners by princes and lords for the future by headless idiots shall be admitted by divine prayers fifteen mars threatens us of a warlike force seventy times he shall cause blood to be shed the flourishing and ruin of the clergy and by those who will hear nothing from them sixteen the sixth of the fifth pond journeyed to sagittarius in the highest aug of the exaltation plague famine death by a military hand the age groweth near to its renovation seventeen during forty years the rainbow shall not appear during forty years it shall be seen every day the parched earth shall wax drier and drier and great floods shall be when it shall appear eighteen 
through the discord and negligence of the french a passage shall be open to mohammed the land and sea of siena shall be bloody the folk and haven shall be covered with sails and ships nineteen when serpents shall come to encompass the air the trojan blood shall be vexed by spain by them a great number shall perish chief runneth away and is hid in the rushes of the marasbees. 20. Tours, Orleans, Blois, Angers, Rennes, and Nantes, cities vexed by a sudden change. By strange languages tents shall be set up, rivers, darts, Rennes, land, and sea shall quake. 21. A deep white clay feedeth a rock which clay shall break out of the deep like milk in vain people shall be troubled not daring to touch it being ignorant that in the bottom there is a milky clay twenty two that which shall live and shall have no fence the lion shall destroy the art of it autumn chalons langres and both sends the war and the ice shall do great harm twenty three in the third month of the rising of the sun the boar and the leopard in marth camp to fight the leopard weary lifts his eyes to the heaven and seeth an eagle playing about the sun twenty four in the new city for to condemn a prisoner the bird of prey shall offer himself to heaven after the victory the prisoners shall be forgiven after cremona and manteau have suffered many troubles twenty five lost found again hidden so great a while a pastor as demigod shall be honored and before the moon endeth her great age by other winds he shall be dishonored twenty six the great man falleth by the lightning in the daytime an evil foretold by a common porter according to this foretelling another falleth in the night a fight at rheims and the plague at london and tuscany twenty seven under the oak goyen struck from heaven not far from it is the treasure hidden which hath been many ages a gathering being found he shall die the eye put out by a spring twenty eight the tower of Boak shall in fear of a barbarian fleet for a while and long after afraid of Spanish shipping, flocks, peoples, goods, both shall receive great damage. Taurus and Libra, oh, what a deadly feud. 29. When the fish that is both terrestrial and aquatic by a strong wave shall be cast upon the sand with his strange fearful sweet horrid form soon after the enemies will come near to the walls by sea thirty the outlandish ship by a sea storm shall come near the unknown haven notwithstanding the signs given to it with bows it shall die be plundered a good advice come too late thirty one so many years the war shall last in france beyond the course of the custolan marquis the uncertain victory three great ones shall crown the eagle the cock the moon the lion having the sun in its mark thirty two the great empire shall soon be translated into a little place which shall soon grow afterwards an inferior place of a small country in the middle of which he shall come to lay down his sceptre. 33. The great bridge near a spacious plain, the great lion by Caesarian forces, shall cause to be pulled down without the rigorous city, for fear of which the gates shall be shut to him. 34. The birds of prey flying to the window before battle shall appear to the French one shall take a good omen of it the other a bad one the weaker part shall hold it for a good sign thirty five the young lion shall overcome the old one in martial field by a single duel in a golden cage he shall put out his eye two wounds from one 
then he shall die a cruel death. 36. The monarch shall too late repent, for he hath not put to death his adversary, but he shall give his consent to a greater thing than that, which is to put to death all his adversary's kindred. 37. A little before the sun setteth, a battle shall be given. A great people shall be doubtful of being soiled. The seaport maketh no answer. A bridge and sepulchre shall be in two strange places. 38. The sun and the eagle shall appear to the victorious. A vain answer shall be made good to the vanquished. By no means arms shall not be stopped. Vengeance maketh peace. By death he then accomplisheth it. 39. By night in the bed the chief one shall be strangled, for having too much suborned fair elect. By three the empire's subrogate exankle. He shall put him to death, reading neither card nor packet. 40. The false troop, dissembling their folly, shall make in Byzance an alteration of laws. One shall come out of Egypt, who will have untied the edict, changing the coin and a lay. 41. A siege laid to a city, and assaulted by night few escaped, a fight not far from the sea. A woman swoundeth for joy to see her son returned a poison hidden in the fold of letters. 42. The tenth of the calends of April, Gothic account, raised up again by malicious persons, the fire put out, a diabolic assembly shall seek for the bones of Damant and Pelin. 43. Before the change of the empire cometh, there shall happen a strange accident, a field shall be changed, and a pillar of prophyry shall be transported upon the chalky rock. 44. Within a little while sacrifices shall come again. Opposers shall be put to martyrdom. There shall be no more monks, abbots, or novices. Honey shall be much dearer than wax. 45. Follower of sex, great troubles to the messenger. A beast upon the theatre prepareth the scenical play. The inventor of that wicked fact shall be famous. By sex, the world shall be confounded and schismatic. 46. Near Och, Lector, and Mirandi, a great fire from heaven shall fall three nights together. A thing shall happen stupendous and wonderful. A little while after, the earth shall quake. 47. The sermons of the lemon lake shall be troublesome. Some days shall be reduced into weeks, then into months, then into year, then they shall fail. The magistrates shall condemn their vain laws. 48. Twenty years of the reign of the moon being past, seven thousands years another shall hold his monarchy. When the sun shall reassume his days past, this is fulfilled, and endeth my prophecy. 49. A great while before these doings, those of the east, by the virtue of the moon, in the year 1700, shall carry away great droves, and shall subdue almost the whole northern corner. 50. From the aquatic triplicity shall be born one that shall make Thursday his holiday. His fame, praise, reign, and power shall grow by land and sea, and a tempest to the east. End of the first fifty quatrains of the true prophecies or prognostications of Michael Nostradamus. 1503 to 1566 published in 1672, translated by Theophilus de Garanceres, Doctor in Physic, College, London.